All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Jim Bed Plays. And in this video, I'm back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, yeah, it's been like a year or two <laughs> since I last played it, um, and I'm not really sure how long we're gonna play. But I just kind of wanted to just jump back into the game because it's been so long. Um, I finished editing and uploading all the other parts that I had played originally, and I kind of just wanted to, you know, I, I kind of just wanted to revisit it so anyway I'm, let's see i'm not really sure what we're even going to do please add your thanks for the team initiative meridian helios we almost didn't make it but thanks to the bravery of the pathfinder team we have well and truly arrived add your voice and gratitude let them know that they have affected lives thank you so much i'm relieved beyond measure that my involvement was not necessary brand cavin cavin waking up to this was amazing g daniels posy roth Seems like the thing to do. Kenny Jensen, thank you. Thanks. Forever, honestly, LP. Donkey to the team. H. Lowell. Lowell. There's a bunch of these. Simply thanks. Pam Aberdeen. Way to plant the flag. Cammy Tabbert. Um, knew it would work. They say we were good as dead, but I didn't see it, so I knew we'd come back from the brink. Cool. There's a bunch of other ones. I may look at them later. I think we talked to Sarah already, right? Go on. I need some rest. Oh, okay. Sorry. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna head out and... The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Uh. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice, a true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angar. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. Hmm. I don't even remember who Reka is. Uh, an outpost leader, Bradley? <laughs> Reka would be stable. Maybe an Angara. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept the EOS relatively stable, despite no militia presence. Meridian doesn't mean done. Cat are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. If we're going to treat Helios like a home, we need to acknowledge whose home it is. I won't name anyone. I support asking the Moshai to act as interim ambassador. Meridian's opening day, and we're surrendering how much influence? That's the point, you colonial ward. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Uh, 
Oh, just realized my mic was muted the entire time. Okay. Integration um, of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our SAM node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. Integration of Hyperion systems. I thought is we've already been in the same core. Why can't I go in there? Will be accessible on anyway, I don't even really remember who half those people are. So hopefully that's okay that I chose those people. I think the Angar would be a good decision though. Pathfinder. I'll pay it forward, I swear. Alright, cool. Arc Hyperion. Departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. Please select a topic. <laughs> narrator guy is getting work. Uh, let's see. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Arc Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. Cool. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Scott Ryder spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Arc Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status, pending. Arc Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. Special mention, Captain Nozomi Dunn. Her bravery ensured the viability of humanity in Andromeda. Her remains were committed to the stars. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, we turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. The transformation of Arc Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomena during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. Cool. This is really cool though how there's actually like an ending part. You know, like you finish the game but there's like this epilogue almost, like this ongoing epilogue. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become. <laughs> I can't even imagine to think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those? Where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I... I, I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't, so? <clears throat> Jal, our people... Actually, no, I can't. <clears throat> Actually, I kind of like it. No. Uh, let's see. Cora? Hello. Hey, Ryder. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. <laughs> Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. 
this is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Yeah. Thank you, Cora. I was freaking Liam. Can I talk to you? I don't know where to start. But I can't. Pathfinder. I don't care I'm told I'm about to get exceptionally more busy. Than I hoped. Which, given your health, is unwise. We all gave of ourselves, Zephra. It was time. And as this ambassador, I will continue to do so. I couldn't impose a voice on the Angara, temporary or not. We've always had a voice. This just means your leaders have decided to listen. Also, don't assume my name brings universal approval. You know how varied our opinions can be. I can't speak for everyone, but I will gladly help create the system that does. And Sala Venjuri, Pathfinder. There is much yet to learn. Cool. All right, now we'll talk to the loser. I don't know where to start, but I can. I don't care which world I'm on. It's all more than I hoped. Gosh, those facial animations are just awful. <laughs> Scott, kept a seat for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridian got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? She'd be angry if I said anything but great. Which means... Great. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? There's so much here. It'll be years before we even know where to start. Don't need starters. Starters are a dime a dozen. We need finishers. And we have the best. I'm looking at you, Pathfinder Rider. The whole galaxy is. Cheers. Shut up. <laughs> That's a good point, but shut up. Hey, my girl. So Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Cool. Hello. So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. Aquarian art. Uh. What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kirasia! The situation is not under control. Note and avoid until further update. Repeating! Is that? The Corian Ark? And Elcor? Drell Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kirasia wasn't destroyed. That's fantastic news. We need to report this right away. It's good news, but it 
bounced too many times to trace and... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. That's probably one of the biggest disappointments in this entire game, honestly, was the fact that it... I know a lot of people were upset about that. It, it didn't even show what happened to the Corian Ark. I think they wrote a book about it or something like that, you know? Like, it was supposed to be DLC, and then it just never came out. So, yeah, that, that really freaking sucks. Kid. Old man. Ha ha ha. This place is something else. We can finally start doing what we were supposed to do when we first got here. Explore. Speaking of that, I sent out what's left of the Macmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. Ha, <laughs> crazy kid. No. Oh. Love Drag. He's really cool. Uh, have I read this? We're beginning to suss out operational files. Identify as different than understanding. Are we sure we should poke this thing? I'm starting to think even the Jardan were concerned by Meridian. Even these Jardan were surprised at what they created. It is not uncommon for a creator to be surpassed by their creation. Couldn't anyone else have said that? <laughs> um, let's see who else we got. Where's my? There's my girl. One second. Let me make sure there's no one else over here. Can, oh, oh, hello. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Uh. Darlavas Hyperion, Placements Officer? As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vas Meridian? I keep Vas Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. Ayora Pele, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Kelly, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Hi. what they said. All right. Can't really tell what the heck that guy is saying. We got a lot wrong on this trip, but they were right about Pathfinders. Thank you. She says nice things every time I walk past her. Um, okay, so let's talk to my baby girl. Look at them. I told you Hiya. Why I'm alive. Uh, thanks. Well, hello. Hello yourself. Eyes front. Try not to swoon. I want you 
I want you more. I need proof. Soon. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I gonna do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. I, I think they also did a great job with that, with handling relationships and stuff. I like how weird she looks now. She's like, Durr. she's like looking straight down the ground. That's just odd. All right, let's dance. Oh yeah, see. Oh, there we go. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know if he had better moves than uh, than freaking Shepard or not. Kind of, but not really. That's funny. But yeah, I think they did a better job. Yeah, I think they did a better job with the relationships in this game. How, you know, you can actually, like... Oh, shoot. What the heck happened? My game... Just... Oh, what the crap? My game just went, like, uh... In windowed mode for some reason. That was odd. Um, but I like the fact that... They... Have it set... Why is it... Yes. Yes, there. Okay. I like the fact that they have it set up to where, uh, set up, sorry, where you can actually have these like relationships and stuff and, and there's more like flirting and there's more depth to it. It's not just like you're working toward the sex scene and then you get a sex scene and then that's it, you know? Like I like that it's actually more of a relationship in this game, you know? I feel like the relationships feel more natural. Next technical report, Jardan, language study reporting, Tig Villan, linguistics, Jardan, technology remains inscrutable. Can't even determine their intent in building Meridian. Partial translations only serve to provoke concerns. Research is ongoing. I forget who the Jordan is. What does this mean, Don't Sam? Know. The language is imprecise, or perhaps too precise, but the potential capacity of Meridian is clear. Unlimited. Nice. Hiya. Hiya. When did you get a Roomba? What's that? Is that, what the heck is that? Is that a glitch? Meridian, huh? I see it every day and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? Ugh, I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, good old Suvi. I love Suvi. Lexi, my girl. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. There's one thing. Dr. Lexi Tapero. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did it. You jerk. Go on. I have a reputation to protect. <laughs> that was awful. That face. <laughs> I heard about this cat. And that's funny. They didn't even know what the cat are. That's that's really interesting. Wow, look at all this. Pathfinder, thanks for the invite to the party. I didn't organize anything. Not this. Landing day. That was worth jumping galaxies. Yeah. This is cool, man. I like this. Gil, what's up? Hey, Ryder. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But, so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? 
I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? Mess with somebody else's ship. And how about the Nomad? Just once around the planet. No. Ugh, guess I'll just have fun down here. <laughs> I like that. Where is, uh, Kalos is the pilot, right? Where, where is he at? Did I pass him up? Glad to have you. What is this? I don't know how to leave. Uh, I'm, I forget the layout of the map. I thought that was the elevator right there. Maybe he's in, uh, maybe I passed him. That run is so Hello. disoriented. Yo. Let's get out there, huh? Yes, I would like to, but I don't remember how to freaking leave. Uh, oh, is that him right there? Oh, there you are. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. The graphics look really good in this game. It's just the animations is what suffers. Like, it has a great lighting system, too, you know? Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. I can't do this without a good pilot. Or a great pilot. How about a pilot determined to help his friends? I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't, please don't tell him that. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. <laughs> that's cool. Return to the Tempest to continue exploring. Heck yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, you know, I know this game has had its issues, but I still think it's, I still think it's a great, I still think it's a great game, though. And honestly, like, I hope that there's a, I hope that there's there's just a sequel someday. I know it probably will never happen, but if there's a sequel, I would be completely fine with that. Hmm. Investigate space attacks. I think that's something else. Is this here? I think this is on the Nexus. Can I check the map? Where's the elevator? I don't know. Why don't we just um why don't we just go back to the ship? Maybe we can come back and do this. What's on obtain components from the Aya market? Okay, we should do that. Let's go to the Tempest and then we can uh because uh, I was wondering about that movie night quest. Is I, today good? What? Ready when you are. I'm ready. Let's go. One day. Let's leave. Whoa. Stutter stutter. Ooh. <clears throat> Making a quiet exit? Uh, yeah. Figured I'd leave before I teared up. No one needs to see that. I expect that honesty is part of what draws them to you. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. This is great and all, but it feels weird to be on a ship that isn't moving. We're explorers. There's more to see out there. Let's go find it. Nice. That's really cool, man. I I hate that I didn't <laughs> do this a year or two ago.
needs to be some banging music. Hey, all right. Journey so far. So these are our completed things. Oh, that's cool. It's just telling you like, hey, this is what you did. That's cool. Nice. We did it. Return to the Tempest. Complete. Oh, nice. Got some new stuff too. All right. Well, that's really cool. I um. Is there anything in this ship I need to do? Can you talk to people in the ship? Probably not. I assume that's. MVP outstanding Pathfinder. Yeah. Is that where the things die? I I forgot. I guess that's the plane. It didn't it crash or something. Where to next? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm surprised I still have a job. I should probably just retire. <laughs> Don't be silly. We still need you. There's so many outposts that need support. Then let's head out there. Sounds like a brilliant plan. Nice. So I guess there are other conversations. So that message was from an STG agent? One who's convinced your people were betrayed. That's bizarre. What could the cat offer anyone that's worth an arc? Watch your step, Ryder. Back home when STG was involved, things got messy. Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tian found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Nice. All right. Yeah, I think we'll probably just, this is going to be the talking part, you know. I think I'm just going to chat to everybody, and then maybe someday I'll come back and we'll actually do more missions and stuff. But, yeah, man, I, I honestly do hope that they uh they do another game of Andromeda. That'd be great. Meridian was mind-blowing, right? But I was so worried I would lose you. Guess that comes with the territory when you kind of sort of love someone, huh? I guess that makes me feel kind of, sort of good. You know what I mean. Now, Helios will really take shape, and we have VIP tickets. In some ways, I feel like our adventure is just beginning. Are we getting together later? If I have anything to say about it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Sweet. All right, let's go. Like I said, we'll just go chat up everybody real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll head out. Head out. I don't know. <laughs> Lexi, I hear Sarah's doing well. She's healing, not as fast as she'd like, of course. Think how much we'll get done with two riders. I can't wait to see Ephra's face when he learns there's another one. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is, it's a minefield. You saw minefields in crisis response? A lot of wounded? That was awful, sure. But the long term is worse. Minefields hobble the whole population, make normal life impossible. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, there's some motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. <laughs> uh, did you get my message? Doesn't matter. I have exciting news. And I wanted to tell you in person. Should I sit down? Is that another idiom? Or... Yes, of course. Do what you like. Yeah, it's an idiom that means... Never mind. I've been offered an advancement in the Resistance. And... My own command. That's great. I'm... Happy for you. But you don't sound... Ah... Uh, another idiom? 
Kinda. So when did this happen? Recently. You know that I wasn't satisfied with my position and direction in the Resistance. Or life. True. Very true. Yes. After my successes with you, they see me with new eyes. But more importantly, so do I. So you get your own command? It's a covert squad, Tech Ops, commanding a small group of elite specialists that infiltrate advanced KET sites. High danger, high reward. That's a hard choice to make. I won't stand in your way. <clears throat> That's kind. It was a hard choice. Okay, then. Should we head back to Aya? <laughs> what? Why? I'm not taking the position. But that's crazy. It's what you wanted. What I wanted, yes. But not what I needed. Not what I need. With your help, I broke free of expectation. I found my better self. That's one of the nicest things anyone has said to me. Seriously. Good. No, really. You changed too, I think. More open, like a true Angara. Perfect. So, you're stuck with me now. <laughs> At least until this all plays out. Besides, you need me. Don't push your luck. But luck can't be pushed. <laughs> It comes to us in... Ah. Idiom. Yep. Shit. <laughs> no. What a beautiful boy. I'm glad he's staying. So. So? <laughs> so. Isn't this the best time to be alive? Yeah, I've decided it is. Or the best time to be awake, as the case may be. No, awake and alive. Because if you weren't here, you'd be dead. Best time to be alive. Yeah, though I don't know how we top this feeling. For now, maybe we don't have to. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong. And clear. Yeah. That's my boy. I love Jolly. He's really cool. Let's see. Cora's in. I know Cora's right there. I'm just trying to remember. Make sure nothing else is in here. I think it's just Cora. What is that picture of, by the way? Oh, is that art or whatever? Didn't like an AI do it or something? Meridian. At last. There's still so much to do. For the Nexus, the Angara, but not today. Today, we get to feel good about winning. Any more Commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. I miss them. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Cool, 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 cool. <sighs> Alright, so we need to talk to Vetra, Drac... Uh, Lexi. They should have ladders on each side. Seems kind of weird you have to walk all the way up from this way. But I guess it's not really a big deal. Anything in my room? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello, Scott. Through Meridian, I gained insight into the Jardan, creators of the Remnant and the Angara. Meridian's code accounts for incredible potential and infinite diversity. They weren't achieved. No creator would be content. You think the Jardan might come back? Unknown. They abandoned a great work, which you have reinterpreted. Against significant odds, you are home. Thanks. But what's a Pathfinder without their Sam? Two halves of a whole. In a brief time, you have suffered, triumphed and grown. You are a new iteration of yourself, respected and recognized. 
I have lived it with you. I see why the unknown beckons, what it means to prevail against it. This is how one's humanity is grown. I am glad to know. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why do Elcor start stampedes? Because they wish to be heard. Uh, thanks, Sam. Nothing more. <laughs> Good old Sam. Yeah, man, like, that's the thing. Like, they did, they, I don't know, they just did a really good job with companions and the story stuff, you know. I, I just think it's, I think it's pretty great, you know. Uh, oh, it's like, why won't that open? Uh, let's see, where's everybody else at? Is Draken here? I honestly forget. Oh, story stuff. Ready for more tests? Not again. Lexi, I'm fine. Sit now, and I'll skip the blood work. Have you experienced any muscle spasms? Nosebleeds? Memory loss? No, but I feel a headache coming on. Ha ha. Comments like that used to get a rise out of you. I know you too well now. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> you should know. Professor Hirick approached me about a transfer to the Nexus. Apparently, my research on Ket anatomy has been useful to the militia. Guess I'll be telling my next doctor about my abandonment issues. I declined. Really? Didn't have a choice. No other doctor in the initiative would take you. I'm lucky to have you here. Yes, you are. But I'm pretty lucky, too. No. Oh, good old Lexi. I, I mean, I guess it's good that you kept things professional, but, I, you know, I still kind of wish you had the option to romance her. But I guess that would be kind of weird if you think about it. Like, the fact that, um, you know, she's like your doctor. It's kind of odd that you would, uh... A toast to the vanquished. The Archon, face down, ass up. So long, bone brain. How about to Meridian? To dreams. And family. To whatever's next, may it be beyond our imagination. It's my toast, and it's to the vanquished. I don't like how you can't freaking hear what they're saying. <laughs> That's cool, though. I do like that they have those moments, too. I oh, yeah, like the serial blastos and stuff. Yeah. I love that. It, this is a really cool ship. Woke up today and thought, back to the search. And then I remembered, it's over. It's really over. We did it. I know what you mean. I don't want this high to go away. I'm going to enjoy it for as long as it lasts before I settle down. Settle down? Yeah, now that we're back on track, I thought I'd maybe talk to a Nexus colonization expert. Get assigned to an outpost, start a farm or something. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love being on the ship. I'm staying here until you kick me off. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. <laughs> it's like an awkward ending. You probably have work to do. <laughs> I need up this elevator. I need the couch. I forgot about the couch. Yeah, gosh, man. This game was so good. It really was. I wish more people gave it a chance. I, I'd like to see this game kind of get a bit of like a re, uh, resurgence, you know. That was a good win. I wonder what other kind of trouble we can get up to. Always looking for the next fight, aren't you, old man? Gotta admit, old habits die hard. I might have had a long time to settle in. We can talk more later. Sure. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me, and we support each other unconditionally. 
Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Uncle Pathfinder. Hail the Archon Killer. I heard it was touch and go, but you really rose to the occasion. Not much choice when your back's against the wall. Remind me never to piss you off. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Nice. That's kind of weird, because I think you can actually romance him. So that would be... It's like taking away uh, the opportunity to have a kid or whatever. All right, I think that's everyone, right? I should have just left Liam and been like, I think that's everyone. Um, yeah, that is the weird thing, though, about this game, is there is so much dialogue in well, it. Like, writer does lead us to interesting places. Think there's anywhere more interesting than Meridian? If there is, we'll find it. Yeah, true that. Um, but yeah, that that is the weird thing. Like, I enjoy that about the game, but, like, I used to play my Switch whenever I would get in these conversations, you know, because there was just so much, like, just like this. I've been playing for, like, 47 and a half minutes now, so, and that's just been dialogue, you know? Like, it's pretty cool, but it, it is just a lot to take in, um, which can be a bit, you know, you have to be in the mood for it, for sure. But, uh, but yeah, man, like, I've really enjoyed this game. I honestly hope there's a sequel someday. I know it probably will never happen, but, I mean, that'd be cool if they did, like, Mass Effect 4, and then they had Mass Effect Andromeda 2, you know, and they were on, like, an alternating cycle or something like that. I'd be, I would be fine with it. I think that'd be cool. Just improve everything, you know, just really do it right, because I think they just kind of skimped on a few things with this game, you know? But I think overall, it's a great game. I think that, like, the gameplay is fun. You know, I miss the tactical feeling that Mass Effect 2 had, but whatever. Maybe they can return to that with 4. But, you know, I think some of the characters in this game kind of suck. Some of the writing kind of sucks. But a lot of it is great. I think a lot of the writing is good. A lot of the characters are good. A lot of the worlds and graphics and gameplay and stuff is fun. So I think they did a lot of stuff right, for sure. I mean, I already I almost have like 100 hours on Origin, and I don't think that counts the 10-hour trials that I played on uh, consoles. Because I think I played it on PS4 and Xbox and PC. Like, I was really obsessed with this game when it first came out before I kind of got out of it. But again, I think the only reason I got out of it was because I read the reviews and then I kind of gave into like peer pressure rather than just enjoying what I wanted to enjoy, you know? So I'm glad that I revisited the game and played it uh so yeah anyway i i may be back to just kind of mess around with some of the missions and stuff we'll see if you want to see more let me know uh but yeah i'm glad to be playing the game I'm glad that it, you know glad that i finally finished it it was uh definitely worth it so anyway if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing all these beautiful things and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys